Hi, my name's Alex and today I'll be taking you through this week's question and answer session from us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. Setting up your own tab within the command manager is a very straightforward process in SolidWorks. All we need to do is go to Tools, Customize, and you'll see that the Customize dialog box pops up, um, but also we get a series of tabs that we can add in to our command manager. Now within here you see that there is an option to add in a new tab, so we'll just click on that and we can have it specifically for one of these toolbars or we can just create our own tab by selecting empty tab. Now I'm just going to type in here commonly used tools. Okay now that's done we can just simply drag and drop commands from this tab within the customized dialog box into that toolbar. So again very straightforward process. So I am going to go to flyout toolbars first off and I'm going to drag in um, the sketch flyout, the rectangle and the circle. We'll also go to the sketch option within here and drag in some specific tools. So um, I want to drag in from here convert entities and then offset entities. The last one I'll have I'm going to find from the dimensions relations area um, and we're going to have smart dimension. Okay. Now the way that these appear in the um, toolbar can be changed so for instance if I want to give myself a little bit more room I can right click here and I can opt to have text to the side. like so. Okay the next group of tools I want are going to be featured tools so if we go to the flyout toolbar again um, I'm going to bring in my extrude boss base flyout we'll also have the cut and the fillet and then finally the the pattern from there as well. Now you can actually separate these into logical group so what I might do here is just right click and select beginner group and that actually puts a dividing line between the two it's a visual thing only it doesn't really have any relevance on the, the way that the toolbar actually behaves let's say we we work with sheet metal quite a lot um, I'll drag in the sheet metal drop down again just beginning a new group there and we'll have weldments next to that also we also um, want to access the display delete relations um, options on a regular basis so let's just drag that onto the the toolbar which is is that one there okay and I'll just separate that into its own group so now we're happy with that we just press OK and you can see that the commonly used tools is available for me and that just means that this, the things that I'm accessing on a regular basis um, I don't have to switch between toolbars to get to. I can just do everything that I do commonly on a single toolbar uh, and just for your reference this is what the, the flyout toolbars look like. They have a, a subset of options underneath them. Okay, thank you very much for watching.